So, I just wanted to hit you guys with this real quick. Now, <clears throat> I've never had to do this before. I have soaked this neck with oil this the fifth time around. And it's finally starting to hold out the oil. Um, before this was just drying down flat, flat. What that meant it was it was soaking the oil into the fretboard. This oil doesn't dry from the air. Now, back here where I didn't sand the frets, see how flat and dry that is? Up here, we sanded the frets. And I've really been dousing this shit with oil, too. But now, this is the fifth time it soaked it up like that. I usually don't quit until it stays shiny all the way across. And that means all of the oil or wood has soaked up every bit of oil it can into its pores. What happens is when you play it, um, the oil works its way back out of the rosewood. And it's like playing on a sponge, kind of. When you squish it, you know, it um, squeezes the oil back out. So far in the last 40 years I've been playing or whatever and using this technique, that's how it's worked out so far. Now, when you change your strings, these are 10 millimeters on mine. I don't know what yours are, but... <coughs> excuse me. I recommend... I have a little pack. I mean, I'll show it one time. It's not here. It's in the house. I have a little pack. I keep tools in. I've had one of these ever since I've been changing strings that I can remember when they started making them. It's a winding tool. Cut strings. Bam. There you go. So. These are 10 millimeter. Get yourself a 10 millimeter socket if nothing else. Because you don't really need anything put on. But I use this. Get yourself a 10 millimeter nut driver. Keep it in your little pack. Always keep a spare set of strings if you can. Tuner, your uh, spinner, you know, in a, in a pack. So when I do this, I tighten these. Now this comes from the factory. These were all loose, every one of them. That's why the guitar was vibrating, all kinds of stuff. I also take a little screwdriver, tighten each one of these. Not over tighten, just nice and tight. So these were all, look, this side I haven't done yet. These are loose, kind of floppy, super easy to turn. Now these are all nice and tight. It's going to tune and hold tune much better. So, again, next time you see this bad boy, we'll be playing it, I promise.